Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a city in the spotlight this week as the Republican Party holds its national convention and has formally nominated Donald Trump as the GOP candidate for president. Part of the story this week, of course, is heightened security at this event, which comes just days after Trump survived an attempt on his life. And we're joined now by Jeffrey Norman. He is Milwaukee's police chief and he joins us today from that city. We appreciate you making the time and appreciate you being here, Chief. Um, Thank talk, you. talk to me a little bit about what it is like to plan for an event like this. You know, I have been to conventions in the past. They are massive undertakings. From a security perspective, when did you start and, and how much goes into something like this? So again, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, this is a massive undertaking. Uh, we're talking about a national special security event. This is the highest level of security for a event in this nation. Um, we were working on this about a little bit over 18 months. Uh, this is in collaboration with the United States Secret Service, but most of our other federal partners, the FBI, you know, we have uh, HSI, um, also our state, local, um, but this is beyond just law enforcement. We're working with elected officials, uh, community members, business community. So there's a lot of hands on this particular type of event to ensure the safety of this event. Uh, let me ask you what went through your mind when you saw the assassination attempt on the former president. And, and, and as police chief, uh, how much y y you thought your job would possibly change and uh, additional resources you may need to put in because of that? Well, I mean, obviously, to be uh, in this position as the uh, executive of the Milwaukee Police Department, who's dealing from the municipal side of this particular event for the security, uh, seeing that, I was uh, definitely dismayed. Uh, you know, I have, uh, you know, wish speed recovery to former president. But also, let's not forget, there were two other victims at this particular mm -hmm. incident. Yeah. And that's something I keep on reminding everyone, that we are here for the RNC event, but this you know, more than just the, you know, attendees. We have a number of visitors, tour, uh, you know, individuals who are helping support. And so for me, I have to uh, always take in consideration the entire scope of not only the event, but the city. And so it just really um, reassures me that we're doing the right type of preparation, uh, that, you know, the type of preparation we put in forth to ensure that we have the resources. I always want to remind everyone that uh, a national special security event it's not like a rally or a town hall. This is a major resource in regards to so many different resources uh, being put forth to ensure, uh, you know, there's safety on land, air, and in water, since we are a, a great uh, city on a great lake. And, and, and how are you balancing that need for security, which obviously there is a, there's a massive need for security around an event like this, with people's uh, right to protest and do so peacefully? So with that uh, experience that, that we have from 2020, especially post-pandemic, I believe that we had a number of different, uh, uh, I guess, going through these different experiences over the years, uh, we how to recalibrate to make it right in regards to having a, a lot of uh, collaboration, communication with those who are demonstrating, understand that uh, it is not illegal to express your First Amendment rights, but it is a concern if you want to, again, damage property or hurt each other, you know, uh, again, using physical violence. That is not gonna be tolerated in our city, but we do understand that we need to give people their space, uh, give them uh, a little bit of patience, and also understand where are the points of contact? How can we communicate so that if there are challenges, if there are issues, that we have someone to talk about and work it out. And a lot of times, you'll find that you can find common ground and uh, get cooperation. Uh, uh, as per Wisconsin state law, people uh, may carry certain types of firearms. It's an open carry state uh, outside of, of some of the perimeters are around that uh, arena downtown. Uh, so tell me whether or not that makes your job more difficult, especially considering after the events of, of this weekend, has that been a concern that people will be allowed to carry guns in some areas? Uh, around this venue? So for us, especially within the state of Wisconsin, we are used to the open carry. I mean, again, I don't get into a, uh, you know, a, um, a fight over the Second Amendment that is a constitutional right. What is important is behaviors and making individuals who want to um, carry out that right understand uh, there is that respect of that right just don't do anything that would be considered a threat, to be considered someone of, uh, you know, who wants to create harm because that's not going to be tolerated. And so we do have a, you know, pretty deep history, not only in this state, but in this country of understanding 
how to navigate dealing with those who want to open carry or conceal carry. That's not against the law. What is against the law, if you want to do something that will bring harm to someone uh, that is uh, not, uh, you know, the appropriate way or using it in an inappropriate manner, that will not be tolerated. All right. Just an assessment. I know day one is not quite wrapped up yet, but how did the beginning of the convention go in your assessment? So I'll say this much, steady. We are, again, uh, dealing with a lot of different challenges, but I will say that there is a lot of great cooperation, uh, good communication going on. Understand that uh, we're here for the long haul and that at the end of the day, we want to make sure that people walk away from this event, understand that they had a, a productive event, a safe event, and an event that they will say, you know what, we want to come back to Milwaukee in regards to having these particular type of conventions, these type of conferences. Well, it is a wonderful city. I've been there before. Hope to visit again. Uh, Chief, appreciate your you time here on campus. Cheese, cut, cheese curds for you. <laughs> there you go. Love the cheese curds. Uh, Police Chief Jeffrey Norman, we appreciate your time here on Canada tonight. The Chief joining us, of course, from his city, Milwaukee, Wisconsin.